Tim, Erica, and by Tim, I mean Keith, excuse me. I'm so used to it. I got Tim Russell, who's already laughing here, president of the Argos, joining us. You know, there's so many of us on the morning crew, hard not to get us all yes, confused. But, but hi, Keith. <laughs> yeah, you got a big hello, Keith. We're talking yard goats, ticket sales going on today. Tell us a little bit about what fans need to expect. Yeah, at 10 a.m. today um, on yardgoatsbaseball.com or, or over the phone, you'll be able to buy tickets for the upcoming games in May. So really excited to get our fans back into the ballpark, get our outside, outside voices ready, and have a great time. Outside voices. Keith calls those are loud, proud voices. But there's something a little different this year. You guys are have, having ticket sales, not in person, over the phone and over the website. And obviously, you have a lot of safety protocols that you've put in place as well. Yeah, we've added additional hand sanitizers. We made modifications to the bathrooms, additional signage. You know, when fans come to the game, they're going to have to wear their mask unless they're actively eating and drinking. Uh, we've also gone cashless. So. Uh, only credit cards, debit cards, or gift cards will be used at the concession stands in the store. And a lot of other things that as you start to come to Yargos games, you'll be able to see the changes at Dunkin' Donuts Park. Speaking of changes, I know there's two very cool attractions or different areas in seating. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so uh, we are uh, uh, adding the uh, Traveler's Patio, which is in center field, is one of the uh, high top table areas where you'll be able to go out, watch the game, and uh, sit, sit with your friends. And then we also have the Tyndale Party Porch, which is the same thing, four top tables. So there's a lot more that's gonna be coming up in the uh, upcoming weeks, but this is exciting that we're, uh, ticket sales are on sale today. And besides exciting, I mean, I imagine that the players and everybody on staff, 621 days since they have played in this ballpark, I imagine you guys are all excited. We are, we are, you know, all the game day staff, all the players, all the front office staff, we're, we're ready to uh, invite our friends back to Dunkin' all the fans to have a great time, cheer on the Yard Goats, and have fun. And Keith, uh, he really loved the band that we brought two years ago, so, so we might have to recreate that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hoping that I get to wear a little bit of a warmer outfit for a baseball game when they commence first game. May 11th. May 11th. Get ready, guys. Get the gear going. Go, Yard Goats, go. No goats, no glory, right? Absolutely. All right, for now, that's the latest in the capital city. Margo Farrell, Fox 61 News. So, Margo, you and I clearly spend a lot of time together but because I say, may I ask Margo a question? And I wanted to ask if we could bring the band back, socially distant entertainment for the new season. Keith has a question. He wants to know if we can bring the band back as long as we social distance them. I think it should be okay. Should be okay, Keith. We're getting a green light, so let's get that in the works here. If not, Keith and I'll just bring our instruments. There Ke we go. Keith's a really talented <laughs> musician. Look forward to hearing him. No, he's really not. Sorry. Back to you guys. All right, we need to well, get. We know Mar Margo likes to sing, so we've yeah. got that part covered right there. At about 3:30 every morning, <laughs> we need to get you some blue and green. Thank you, Margo. Thank you, Tim. We'll check back in in just Good a little bit. Stuff.